Hello folks, this is Randy and I would like to share with you a true mystery of my life. This is a series of six photographs I took in the desert of Tucson, Arizona in 2007. The pictures were taken, as you can see, very close together, within eight seconds. The first one was taken at 338.20 and then the second one was taken two seconds later. The third one was taken within the same second. I was using a uh, D70, Nikon D70, uh, you know, which has a pretty fast uh, shutter. And at the fourth picture was taken at 338.28. And this is a series of photos, and I will do a better job showing you. So let's go in and look at number two or number one picture here. This was taken. Uh, keep in mind, um, six seconds later, I took the second picture. You will notice a couple of objects right here. Now I took this picture within the same second, and there's nothing there. And then two seconds later, I took the fourth image. And there's two objects again. Now, I took these pictures. I went back to Minnesota. Three weeks later, I looked at the pictures. And that's when I realized that there was something in these images that I did not realize was there when I took them. Here's a blow-up of number two. I'm sorry, it's not zooming in very well. I will show the original JPEGs on the YouTube video. And here's picture number four, which is more clear. These are zoomed in. You can see the beak of the bird on the left side. So this is number two. Now notice what I want to point out here is that you can kind of see the contrail. It kind of curves down here a little bit. If you can see that in your uh, on the video. But if you line this up, it sort of goes just below the other object. And in picture number four, it's lower than the other object. And surprisingly, this is um, this is three seconds after the other this this picture was taken, and then there was another one taken within the one second. There was no objects, and then. The fourth picture was taken two seconds later. So let's say three seconds apart. And surprisingly are in this pretty close to the same spot that they were before. So I don't know if they somehow the light refracted and disappeared in the third frame. Or if these are actually two separate different objects. They look really close to what the other ones were as far as you know if you can tell um, I'll zoom in a little bit more on this and you'll be able to see them a lot better in the in the JPEGs but you can see there's it looks like there's a a craft of some sort um, and it looks like there's a contrail coming out or something of that one and that looks like it's moving to me it looks like it's moving to the left Okay, now this one looks like something, there's a gap here, looks like something maybe came out of that. And with the contrail, it makes it appear like it's going from, you can't really see it in the video I don't think, but it looks like it's going from left to right. And I don't think it, I don't think this is propelling something. Otherwise, if it was propelling something, it would be going straighter, I think. You can see it better in picture number four. Let's go to number four here. You can see the contrail. And wouldn't you think that if, if, if it was a, like a missile being shot out of something here, uh, it would be going straight instead of curved down and then this object is really similar to the object in frame number two 
again. I don't know. I'm baffled. I've been baffled for nine years over what this is. Please leave comments and tell me what you think this is. And try, it, it is not a hoax. I did not doctor these up. Anybody who knows anything about Photoshop and all that stuff, these are not doctored. I can tell you that. I can show you on the original JPEG file, um, which I will po will also include. So, but please, um, if you like this video, please click like and uh, share it. I'd love to have it shared. I'd love to have this uh, video uh, go all over the place. I did share this with the the president of Arizona MUFON, and um, he, you know, truly believes it's a UFO, uh, and so what do you think? Thank you very much.